Gilmore, join us, start us off, please. Yep, thank you. Hi, Eddie. Hi. Eddie, that was obviously a real roller coaster of emotions for you there throughout the 90 minutes, right up to the end. Uh, how do you sum up your thoughts after that? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a very uh, um, emotional game, really, in many ways. I think uh, the lads gave everything to the match. I thought we, at times, played very well today, created a number of chances. Um, but ultimately, our, our our finishing and the last part was was just missing, and the break of the ball was was slightly difficult for us. We're disappointed with the first goal um, we conceded because until that time they hadn't really threatened our our goal, and I think the second one's a probably a result of the VAR decision at the end. Aaron Ramsdale has described there how he is devastated. He he looked like he had been sort of emotionally drained by what had just happened. What's your message? to the players this week or what will your message be to the players this week? Um, just trying to digest today's game really um, before thinking about next week. I think the key thing is while we're still in there, while there's still hope, we have to, we have to um, believe um, until such time it's mathematically impossible. Um, you know, you never know in football, crazier things uh, or crazy things happen. So, um, that's my immediate thought, but obviously I'm very disappointed today because a big chunk of our, our destiny and our, our our future was still sort of in our hands today. Uh, it feels like that slipped away a little bit. And there have been developments elsewhere in this relegation battle. I, I just wondered, what, what do you make of the decision by Watford to let Nigel Pearson go with, and what impact could that have on, on, on this final week of the season? I have no opinion on it, to be honest. Um, I just got told about it a second ago. Um, so, I've got no opinion. I only care about my team. Do you think it could have an impact on your team? Maybe in terms of the Watford results? I've got no idea. I've got no idea. Let's wait and see. Thanks, Eddie. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Does people want to chip in now if you've got anything to ask the manager? Eddie, we've been here a few times with VAR, with these late calls. We just think to Tottenham most recently... How do you process that as, as the manager? How do you then te- pick the players back up again? Yeah, it's, it's incredibly difficult. It seems um, it hasn't only happened to us this season, but it feels like we've been on the wrong end of um, a few calls that are so tight. You had the Tottenham one um, and tonight's one where the goals are given and then there's a long pause and a long wait and then you're fearing the worst and of course then that, that becomes reality and it's so difficult for the players who have shared that that joy and then it's taken away and as I said that's why I think the second goal happens you go back to games early in the season that have really hurt us as well you go back to the Burnley game where VAR was hugely influential it feels like we have had our moments the other way with Chelsea but very minimal compared to the uh, I think the negative side Eddie, when that, when that goal goes in and obviously Sam Sorridge is, is going away celebrating local lads for the club and everything like that, just just how hard is that for him to then have that weight and have that emotion taken away? Yeah, incredibly difficult for him and everyone connected with the club because I'm sure there's thousands of supporters around the country fe- feeling or around the world feeling the same way. Um, and that's what makes, that, that's the downside of VAR because the, the emotion that the game has and what it means to people... Um, it then gets it gets wiped from history, and that's a, that's a tough one. Looking ahead to obviously Watford City on, on Tuesday, what will you do? Will you sit and watch that game? How will you deal with it mentally yourself? How, how will you strike your squad for this? Dan, I've got no idea. I've got no idea what I'll do. Um, I've just sort of taken myself out of today's game. I'm deeply disappointed, hurt. Um, loads of different emotions are going through my body right now, so I, I don't know what I'm doing in an hour's time, yet alone in a few days' time. Thanks, Eddie. Thank you. Eddie, just on the game itself, and I know if you're trying to work tactically, but it just feels like these are very emotional matches at the moment. It's just a case of imagine you know, when the players are up and when they're down. And is that how it is at the moment? Is it trying to really go to those basics of how the players are thinking, how they're feeling, and trying to help? hopefully that luck goes the right way? Um, there's an element of that, of course, but I think tactically today... I was very pleased with 
how we played for the majority of the game. We had a, a detailed game plan. I thought the players tried to deliver that to the best of their abilities. Um, that game could have finished a very different scoreline to the one it did. Um, there was some chances from set plays. There was some chances on counter-attacks for us. There was chances in open play. Um, the ball just didn't seem to to bounce the way we needed it to uh, for our centre forwards. Although uh, that they'll probably say that they should have done better with a couple of a couple of moments in that game, which were key. I think a few times this season we talked about lack of creativity, but the chances were there, as you were saying. It was just that, that lack of cutting edge. Yeah, it's the, it's the execution today. I think a big problem historically this season has been the chance creation. But I think in the last four or five games, that chance creation has come back. Um, have we been as efficient as we want to be in front of goal? Probably not. Um, and that does decide games. You know, they're probably... They had a few moments, but but Danny Ings has taken that chance on the stroke of half time, which um, has a big swing in the game, and you have to deal with that setback and come back again. And that's what I give the players credit. Second half, we threw everything at them. We had our moments, but the ball just wouldn't go in. Just on Aaron Ramsdale, he made a great save for the penalty, and then another fantastic stop to deny Nathan Redmond. How important has he been, especially in the context of the season he's had? Yeah, it's been a, a great learning curve this season for Aaron. He's been um, exposed to a lot of high pressure games big moments for the football club it will do him the world of good as his career um, progresses I think he'd be very proud of what he did today um, in a massive game for us he produced a key save and you hope that was the moment that gave us momentum we needed uh, and the lift we needed to try and get back in the match and unfortunately for him it didn't happen Just finally on fitness is everyone okay? I know David Brooks went off at half time Yeah David was fine um, No there's no as far as I know there's no injuries Thank you. Thank you. Any final ones? Eddie, can I just ask about the, uh, you said about creativity there and how that's been missing for a lot of the season. It's come back, but do you think almost because chances weren't being created, it, it players may be snatching at chances now in this vital point of the season and that's maybe a little bit that's missing? Yeah, possibly, possibly. Um, it's difficult for us because you usually have been a very free scoring, um, free um, free playing team we've created a bundle of chances through a season for this season for whatever reason that didn't happen in the early stages of the campaign and goals were at a premium for us um, we've worked on vast different things to try and change that um, and probably the best spell has been this last last few games for us where we look like we have that back um, but yeah today today it was just the chances missed but I think that's a, a very good sign for us because um, that's how we've always been. And maybe you're right, there's an element where the strikers have, because they haven't had those moments enough during the season, have, have become a... And it's not just them, it's the whole team, a bit snatchy in front of goal. But, um, you know, that's the, the high-pressure game we're in. But that fills you with hope going into next weekend, that you're still creating chances and still getting in good positions. Yeah, it gives us hope, of course it does. And I think next week, um, you know, we want to still obviously be in there with a chance very much out of our hands we're reliant on other teams um, so we'll have to see how the week progresses Eddie on the pitch keeping Bournemouth in the Premier League this season is that, one of your, is that your toughest challenge of your managerial career? Well yeah without a doubt at this moment in time it is because everything else we've done to this point has been achieved and we don't know what, what is the other side of this so um, been a very difficult season in many different ways Um we still have a game to go. We still have a week left and we're still in there. So we'll we keep giving our all until that moment. Cool. We'll leave it there. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you.